So this is Ed. If this is your first time coming to our channel, we have wholesale real estate uh, cold callers, Filipinos, and they're amazing callers. And here on the channel, I share uh, knowledge about cold calling, um, how I train our callers, results they're getting, talk about their lives and stuff. But I feel like we have the absolute best training available. I weed through the best callers. I go through thousands of callers every month and I pick the best. This, one of our callers, Sheila, is going to go over how she found out how to do a special trick uh, with callers that are Spanish speaking and maybe you don't have a Spanish speaking uh, caller but she was able to find a system um, that's very simple that works for her and she's able to pull out those leads even for Spanish speakers so we're going to go over that at the end and picking out the best callers so I meet with the callers face to face and I pick out the best ones so this from the last uh, class, I pulled out a couple callers mock call. They already have campaigns, and it's basically first come first serve, you guys, because our waiting list can it just gets up to like six months, just crazy. So, what I'm going to do is start making videos in the future, um, like with the next training class. I'm going to make a video, and then I'm going to put the mock calls out on YouTube, and then it's going to be first come first serve. The things I'm going to ask from you is you have to have filled out a contact form on our page. And you got to be set up with Zen Call in some way. Either set up already with Zen Call, or go ahead and use our Zen Call. And then you're going to go ahead and see the callers. And whoever puts a message in there first, for like if I have five callers, whoever puts a message in there is going to get the caller. Okay. Well, we'll go over that more when we're ready to do that. But it's going to be soon. Okay. So let's get to the callers. We're going to have Chrissy and John. And by the way, they're husband um, and wife. Crazy. Ring ring. Hey, I'm trying to get in contact with Sarah. Yeah, this is Sarah. Who's this? Hi, Sarah. This is Chris. I know this call is completely out of the blue, but I was calling about a home I believe you own on 1015 Hickory Post Circuit, Tomball, Texas. Um, yeah, what about it? Do we have a problem? No. Uh, well, we're actually looking to buy a home in your neighborhood and wanted to see if you ever thought about selling it. Um, I, yeah, my mom, my mom, she's uh, looking to sell, but is, uh, did someone uh, give you my phone number? Oh, no, no. Um, well, we used to county records in a company called LexisNexis that I send over addresses of homes we are interested in, and they send us phone numbers if they have them. But yeah, well, the reason I'm calling you right now, uh, Sarah, is we just, um, you know, want to confirm some few things. Uh, you mentioned that you're interested in selling your house. So just want to confirm this is a three bedroom, two bath and about 1,595 square feet. Is that right? Yeah, you got okay. it. Okay. All right. Great. Because um, right now in your area, Sarah, we're buying homes for price range around $102,000 to $122,372 uh, range offer. Is that something you might be interested in? How much? Um, around hundred two thousand dollars to one hundred twenty-two thousand mm, dollars. Yeah. Um, I think my mom would consider that, but I'll have to ask her. But um, it's kind of because we got a uh, we got an offer like uh, last week uh, for one fifty. Um, mm -hmm. if if that's doable, I think my mom can sell ASAP. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I just uh, I just said it one fifty. <laughs> like one. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I'll put that in records. But we will, um, you know, typically buy homes that need a little work done to them. Just want to know, have you done any updates in the last five years at all? Um, yeah, we uh, we got a new roof there, a brand new roof, by the way, uh, mm -hmm. just uh, a year old, and we got new carpets to the entire house, um, floorings new, um, what else? Because uh, I haven't been there, you know, um, mm -hmm. for quite a long time, but uh, my mom would just keep telling me um, all the uh, updates or add-ons uh, she's doing at the house. Mm -hmm. So I think she got a, uh, a, a new granite, Countertop for the kitchen. 
Oh, okay. And That's great. plus, you know, plus, you know, um, new appliances for the kitchen, you know. And I think she got, for some reason, she had a new gazebo in, mm -hmm. uh, in the back. So I think that counts as an update. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, just to um, make sure I got them correctly. So you have a new roof, a, a, a year old roof, and new carpets in the entire house, and the floor is new as well. New granite countertop for the kitchen, and new appliances, and a new gazebo in the back. Is that right? Uh huh. Okay, nice. Um, so we also got things done perfectly here. If you were to close in the next two weeks or so, will that work for you? Um, if you guys can give like 150 for for the house there um mm -hmm. in tumble in in hickory post court um 150 asap okay no worries so you can sell asap okay perfect well i just forwarded your information to our um you know a home buying specialist he's the numbers guy and he should be reaching out to you in the next day or two so maybe we can negotiate about your asking price and the offer that we just made. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I will actually lo lo love to follow up with you in the next um, couple of days. But before we end, uh, do you have any other land or any vacant properties that you might be interested in selling um, aside from this address? No, this is it. Okay, no worries, uh, Sarah. Yeah, um, we'll get in touch with you in the next two days. Uh, thank you for your time and taking my call. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Sure. Ring, ring. Hey, I'm trying to get in contact with Sarah. Uh-huh, this is? Hi, Sarah. Uh, this is John. I know this call is completely out of the blue, but I was calling about a home I believe you own in 105, uh, 1015 Hickory Post Circuit, Tomball, Texas. Uh, what about it? Well, I'm actually calling to buy a home in your neighborhood and wanted to see if you ever thought about selling it. Uh, yeah, my mom's selling the house there. Are you the... I, um, did she talk to you to call me or something? Oh, no. Uh, I used the county records in a company called LexisNexis that I sent over addresses of homes we are interested in, and they send us uh, phone numbers if they have them. Oh, I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so I just wanted to confirm some things. Um, this is a three bedrooms and two bath, correct? Uh, yep. Okay, great. I'm also seeing that it's around 1595 square feet. Around uh, 1600, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now in your area, we're actually buying homes for uh, $102,000 to $122,000. Is that something you're interested in? Um. Probably my mom would consider 120 or 122 the uh, the max for the house. Um, yeah, sure. Um, she wants to get rid of the property, like you know, um, mm -hmm. for you know, yeah, ASAP. So she might take 120, 122 um, as the offer. That sounds great. Uh, well, we typically buy homes that needs a little work done to them. Have you done any updates in the last five years at all? Yeah, we. Uh, I think she got a new. Um, she got new ACs in both bedrooms, and what else? Uh, new carpets um, in the master bed, and uh, uh, the room's in great condition, by the way. Uh, it's it's old, but it's still okay. It still got it still has some um, like the forty five uh, year old warranty, I guess. But it's it's good. Um, we converted the other bedroom mm -hmm. to an office. Mm -hmm. So that's just the one of the updates in the house there. And what else? I think that's about it. I see. So I just want to confirm some few things. Uh, you got new ACs for two uh, for both bedrooms and new carpets in the master bedroom. Uh, you said it's old, but it's still in a good condition, right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, room was converted into an office. Have mm -hmm. I got that all properly? Yeah. Yeah, nice. So we also get things done pretty quickly. If we were to close in the next two weeks or so, would that work for you? Yeah. Um, you know, if you can give the price offer that you've 
uh, mentioned a while ago, like 122 is best. If you guys can do 140, we can tell ASAP. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, if you don't, if you don't mind me asking, Sarah, why would you even consider selling at this time? Well, um, it's my mom, mom's and dad's house when they were still together, mm -hmm. and uh, they kind of uh, got through a divorce. So. I, know, I hope you're doing okay. Um, perfect. Um, yeah. Well, I just forwarded your information to our home buying specialist. He's a numbers guy. He should be reaching out to you in the next day or two, so we can negotiate with you know with your with your asking price. Yeah. All right. Um. So you're not the buyer. We're a, we are home buying specialists, and we own rental properties all over um, Texas. Mm -hmm. And just trying to grow our portfolio one house at a time and help out where we can. Yeah, but um, you gave me like a price offer uh, range uh, earlier, like from uh, 100 to 120. And I was wondering, would that exclude your commission or something? This is actually a net offer, so no fees for you. We even oh. take care of the closing costs. So okay. that's, not a, that's no problem. Cool. Yeah, so I just I got all the information I need. Um, thank you so much for taking in my call and enjoy the rest of your day, Sarah. You too. You too. Bye. Hey, me. Okay, so I'm recording. Okay, so Sheila, um, you you work for in Arizona for Raphael, right? And, yes, boss. And how long have you been working for Raphael for? Since October first, boss. Um, okay, so you you I know in Arizona, California, some of those states. There's a great deal of Spanish speakers, and a lot of times um, campaigns are asking for Spanish speakers. What have you done to, um, in this this spiel you've come up with, I know because you do not speak Spanish, um, yes, boss. but can you just explain what you've done um, here and how it's helping you with your calls? Hi, boss. So when I started with uh, Boss Rafael, so even from the first uh, few days that I started with working with him, um, I have already noticed that a lot of um, leads answering the call are Spanish speakers. So say let's say there are around 20 to 30 percent of the people answering the calls are Spanish speakers, and they they would uh, automatically prompt you that they cannot understand English. So from there, um, and of course, uh, what I, I thought that during that time is that I don't want us to lose any opportunity, not just for me, but not just and not just for Raphael, but for everyone in Edwin Wholesale Call. So what I did is um, I came up with um, I tried using Google Translate and see if I I would be able to um, come up with a simple question uh, a simple question um, asking them if they would be willing or if they would be interested in selling their property. The, the question that um, uh, is that is very important. So what I did is um, when I go to Google you, I, I, I only type Google Translate and then it will um, this page will open so you can see here that uh, you can you can actually paste copy and paste it from your notepad so <clears throat> this is what I placed in here so would you like to sell your house so on the uh, on the right side you can click on the drop down and just choose Spanish there you go so um, it for us, uh, for me, who is a non-Spanish um, speaker, it might look uh, pretty uh, challenging. So what I what I what I did, I ju you just need to click on this one, this speaker icon uh, below, and then you will hear as to how it should be pronounced properly. Uh, this is the, the the main question. So what I did, um, so. Te gustaría vender tu casa, and and then I would mention the I would mention the the street name. So say for example, te gustaría vender tu casa en Clayton Place. So um, if the lead uh, will understand you, that's actually the, exi the, the exciting part because um, um, you only have that one shot of asking them this question. So um, once you've asked them that, they would either say C sí or no. C sí, if if it if they say C, sí, it means yes, and if they say no, then it simply means no so from there if they see if they say see that's actually the I mean um, uh, the winning moment part because it means that um, aside from um, them understanding what you ask them um, um, it, it also means that they are interested in hearing an offer for their property so after asking them that 
um, basically, I would uh, tell them that my, my Spanish is not good. So I would say, Mi Español Hove no es muy bueno. And then, um, that they will no normally say, si sí, or okay, or aprobado. Aprobado means okay. Um, and th that's the reason why I have this list of uh, few words here. Uh, aprobado means okay. Okay, and then uh, my last question, which is very important, is asking them if they would be willing to accept a call from my manager tomorrow. Uh, for Rafael, for Boss Rafael, he, he wants me to, to schedule a call or a, a phone appointment as soon as possible. So if not today, uh, tomorrow, um, tomorrow is, uh, is, is a much uh, much better schedule. So I would ask the, the lead, Mi manager te va a llamar mañana esta bien? So that means, my manager will call you tomorrow. Is that okay? Um, when I use this, I cannot ask all of the conditioning questions, the, just one, which is asking them if they would be interested in selling their property. Yeah, you don't have so other I, fillers on there, but it's box. okay because you're just deeming if they're interested and you never know. I mean, you know, you turn it in with your other leads and then you never know. I mean, if he ends up being able to get a deal, like I think you said out of, Six leads yesterday, you turned in three Spanish yes, speakers, boss. right? Only Correct, speaking boss. Spanish, right? They're only yes, so, boss. And yeah. It, even though I don't understand what they're totally saying, um, you can feel on how they say it that if they say C, si, um, then it automatically it means yes. So at least from there, um, when I submit the lead, I would indicate on the, on the notation that I have ordered on the documentation that this is a Spanish customer or a Spanish speaker customer. Um, and so um, I was not able to gather out the other details, but Boss Rafael gave me a 100% shot on this one. He even helped me polish this spiel that I have with me. Um, so at least it, it's easier for me to speak with uh, the leads and um, get, their, um, get their yes, basically. Awesome. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a shot in the dark, but you at least are getting deeming interest. Uh, you're not getting the other pillars, but you're deeming interest. And if you turn in a bunch of these leads, I mean, they're more likely, I mean, they're gonna, it's going to be a no anyway because we're not doing this. And then when you get these, I mean, you could turn you could turn some of these into a yes. I mean, there's a big yes, potential there. But most campaigns that I know about are always looking for Spanish speakers. Correct, and um, some of them actually ignore the leads. So this is turning, you could potentially turn a yes from a, an automatic no if you're not taking the Spanish lead. So this is wonderful. I appreciate you um, taking the time to share this um, is like a um, important technique that people probably can use um, if they don't have a Spanish speaker, at least they can um, deem interest in, yeah. So, hey, are you making calls later? Later? Yes, boss. I am. I am. Okay. Well, thank you, Sheila. I thank appreciate you, you sharing this. And I'm sure some people are going to find this very helpful. So thank you, boss. Thank you. Have a great evening you too, making boss. the calls. Okay.